I'm Math Scholars. This is Justin. And today, we're going to learn about the image key of a pictograph. Now, the image key is the secret to unlock the meaning of a pictograph. What's a pictograph, you ask? Well, a pictograph uses symbols or pictures to represent quantities of data. And it's kind of like a bar graph. And so you can see here that this pictograph shows the temperature during a school week for each day. Now the image key is at the bottom right corner. It's that little box with the sunshine in it. And it says a sunshine equals 10 degrees. That means every sunshine on the pictograph represents 10 degrees. So the temperature for Monday was 10, 20, 30, 40 because there's four suns. And we can't understand that unless we understand that the sun represents 10 degrees. So this pictograph only uses one symbol in the image key, but some pictographs use more than one, and let's look at those. Here's a pictograph that shows how many ice cream cones were sold based on the time of day at an ice cream shop. And you can see this uses two symbols, and the symbols represent the same thing. They represent the number of cones sold, but they represent different quantities. So the cone with the ice cream represents 20 cones, and just the scoop and the spoon represents 10 cones. And you can see that in the image key, which is at the bottom of the pictograph. And it tells you how to interpret or read the pictograph. You have to understand the image key in order to make any sense of the pictograph. Let's look at one more example, and this time it's going to use different images to represent different things. So here shows what different students, Elaine, Fred, and Gina, sold during a school fundraiser. And you can see in our image key in the bottom right corner, there are two images, two pictures, and they represent different things. The candy bar represents 10 candy bars sold, and the bag of popcorn represents 10 bags of popcorn sold. They represent the same quantity. They each represent 10, but they represent different things. And we have to understand that in order to understand the pictograph. And so I can look at my pictograph and see that Fred sold one, one two candy bars, but each one's worth 10. So really, he sold 10, 20 candy bars and 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 bags of popcorn because there's five ba bags of popcorn. So as soon as we understand what the image key says, it's really easy to understand the pictograph. And pictographs are fun because you get to use pictures.